break in at a down river ice cream shop. Now the owners are trying to help prevent something like that from ever happening again. They're doing it with a fundraiser. Now we first told you about a man caught on camera stealing cash from Holy Cow Creamery in Wyandotte last month. As 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us, the owners have sympathy for him and hope to raise money for the community. Taking a, a negative, obviously, and turning it into a positive. That's what Debbie Road Hayes wants to do after this man broke into Holy Cow Creamery in Wyandotte. We first showed you the story two weeks ago when the thief took more than $1,000. Just hours after our broadcast, Debbie says the suspect's family contacted them and told them they know who the man is in the video. We felt really bad because they told us the reason he did it was for drugs, for drug money. Debbie tells us the man turned himself in after getting pressure from his relatives. When his family approached us, that's when it hit me that I felt like, you know, it's just... It, I can't imagine being in that position. That's when they came up with the idea to give 15% of the proceeds from today's sale to the Down River chapter of Families Against Narcotics. The drug problem is everywhere and it's, it's affecting everybody. Debbie also owns Elizabeth Perk Coffee and Ice Cream in Trenton. Both shops are participating. There's no point in just spending your time complaining about it. You've got to actually do something positive to make a change. When the news got out, four other businesses decided to join in, including Custard Corner right across the street from Elizabeth Perk. These shops will all give 15% of today's sales to the organization. And if you can't come in, you can still help. Go on our Facebook page and there's a, a link to donate directly. We'll have that link on our website at WXYZ.com. In Trenton, Simon Chowdhury, 7 Action News.